Okay, okay. Today, Satya is not going to join. Okay. Because okay. he has some, uh, I see, he has to go to airport to pick up uh, his family. Okay, from India? No, some, um, I think his wife traveled somewhere, so she's coming back, so she has to. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, he asked me to convey you, so that he will join. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Thank you. So let me go to the. So I think last talk, last session we discussed about. Um, uh, right. I think uh, these are the things. Okay. So. So what we can do is let me create a, one employee, okay? So then, so let me create an employee and then we can go to the latest stuff. So tomorrow we'll come up with the new topics. So for creation of the employee, so we need to go to the my workforce and new person. My workforce and new person. So I yeah, click on new person here. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, we can we can create a new employee. So this is our list task, task list. Click on here, and uh, you can hire an employee. Click on hire an employee. Click on here, and I am going to hire an employee. So because uh, the data uh, may, may be erased because um, it's a password change and so let me create new data. So high reason, high to fill uh, vacant position. Yeah, just one minute please. Yeah, so now legal employer. So usually we are we are taking the seeded data. So I am taking US one legal entity. And uh, so here person number is not automatic. And let me give the person number. So I can give one, two, three, four. Okay, last name. So let me take ANL user, okay, ANL user, and and suspect, uh, suspect middle name, honors, uh, these are not required. So let me go for the gender is uh, name, and let me give the um, date, zero one zero one one nine eight zero. Okay, this is an employee. Your point system okay, that's fine. Okay, now so national identifier. So, so let me do the social security four five six. I think it is a uh, nine digits, right? Maybe it's, yeah, okay. I need to do one more. Fine. Okay. You have entered the annual service, the social security number must be nine, nine digits numeric. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
सॉरी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन विथ पॉइंट या मिस्टर माधव सो सो करेक्ट राइट सो इट्स नाइन डिजिट्स ओनली राइट ओके So let me take the person number and the details everything. Okay, E N L E N L user E N L user and uh, I am taking person number nine eight seven five. And this is the session because uh, I'm just copying for to query purpose to query that. Now, so address line one. So I can take. Um, Five hundred nine street, and let me go for the zip code. Zip code five zero zero. Sorry, and let me go for a one zero 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 one. Three letters. I think we will get it. Email details is uh, not a mandatory, uh, and let's get information all these things. Okay, so then click on next. And here. Uh, A nine status and all these things uh, it's not mandatory. So this man, let us go for the mandatory fields. So business unit is a mandatory one. Okay, and this is the optional. A nine status, new hair status. These are all uh, optional things. So I'm just going for a yeah, business unit. So business unit, <coughs> I think we had AMD the day today. Okay, AMD and then okay we we discuss there right. So Yes, one business unit. Yes, one business unit. And here the position. So let me take the position. Unlisted position. Okay. So the selected. Position has no open head account. So then let me take another position here. I can take clerk. So otherwise, uh, I can take any HR letter. Okay, human resource manager. Let's take this. Okay, so we don't have the position associated here, <coughs> but it is not a mandatory field.
I'm just editing this one because it's not the mandate field. Just checking the manager field here. So manager details, manager the manager field. So cut this PT. Otherwise, let me check PT cut this. Okay, PT cut this. So he is a common uh, so uh, HR manager and uh, let me go for the payroll details. So click on you know, so you can assign the payroll details here. So let me check we have the ANL uh, we already uh, created ANL related otherwise we can create we can assign our own. So it's not there. Okay. Then what tech we can go for? So we can go for monthly by weekly. Bi weekly, let me select. So, usually in US, bi weekly only, right? So, let me select that one. Yes. Yeah. So, Salary basis. So by weekly set it. Monthly we have the salary basis like this. It, but we don't have our own so payment details and salary basis yeah this one manage it salary basis and manage payroll definition okay so let me take uh, any one of uh, 
child basis and then we can create our own and we can create one more employee uh, with our own child basis and uh, with our own Yeah, here the bi weekly I am just taking the so. so let me take anything. So because just for the creation of this one. So next time so we can create a salary basis and the payroll because which is mandatory here. So we can create one more employee. So today, today let us discuss uh, how to create the employee and assign and do some activities and it's a kind of a refreshment. So tomorrow we'll come up with the new topic. So here then uh, shall the amount is. So let me take uh, 5,000. It's fine. So it has calculated the annual salary. So then let us go to the next sheet. Then click on next. Then submit. The request will be submitted. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, it is submitted. We can check in the notifications. Ours is the ANL user. I didn't get it. Let me let me go to the new person uh, management. So person management is uh, to check the so employees. So let me check with the uh, person number. Yeah, this is the person number. So let me check with the person number. it will take some time so next slide so meanwhile let me let us create our own salary basis and our our own uh, payroll definition so then we will come back and we will discuss it so for this we need to go to the setup and maintenance yes. and select the offering this is offering Manage payroll definitions. So let us create new payroll definition. So we, we need to take the US data access set, the legislative group, US legislative group. We can continue. Now I'm taking AML. Payroll. 
and you can take this claim only pain and payroll and here the consolidation group you can go for the US consolidation group US core period type <coughs> Period type I am taking uh, uh, let me take bi monthly, bi weekly, or monthly. What is it? So, okay, so let me bi weekly here. So, ledger is US ledger, US primary ledger, US primary ledger. Click on OK. And the first period end date. Okay, first period end date. What we can do is so let me take first thirty first two thousand seven. So here it is showing us thirty first John two thousand seven. Okay. Yeah, and uh, valid payment is not, not required, so then let us go to the next. First period and date cannot be the same as before. Okay, so here it is saying uh, the start date is we have taken 14, but first period is this one in that case what we can do is uh, let me go for the 30 June 2007 yeah, because what here, here the actually the effective date is 14 but we are taking the first field as Jan, right? So that's why it is not accepting. So, so if, if we take the effective date as first January, then we can take the thirty first January as the uh, first period end date. Here you can see the cut off dates and everything. So then click on next, next. So here you can see all the. The time periods, payroll time periods. It's a bi weekly, right? So it is starting from June, June to so it will it will take for another one year. So up to 2018 for one year. So if you select if the start date is first uh, January, then it will take for this year only. So then click on next. And then here it's not a mandatory suspense account this one. So then click on next and then you can submit it. You can submit it. And in the same way, so let me create, let me create a salary basis. Many salary basis. So and then salary basis. Payroll frequency we have taken by by weekly. Okay. So then the state group. Actually ours is US the state group. So let me yeah. So here you can go for the there are different say uh, state groups. So let me select the yes element. And if it is not there, then let uh, we need to create element as well. Manage elements. We can create elements. Manage elements.
create so here the state group is the ES state group and find stand mix and we can go for the regular and continue we already created all these things so I am just repeating the ANL underscore element So here what is the entry date of the element? First standing rule and you can go for the so last standing ending date. That's fine. Then next click on next. So here we can we can click on next and then you can submit it. Just submit it. It is taking some time. So now, so we need to create a uh, element. We create. We need to create an element here. So here, if you go to you click on this, so element eligibility. Create elements, create element eligibility. And we can use the A and then element. That's fine. And save and submit. So 
now we are done with this element and we can we can go for the notifications if you want to check the notification click on home and here we can check the notification notifications are not getting frequently so anyhow let me let me go to the person management and let me try with this yeah with this number person number and search ANL user Just let me check with ANL user ok ok let me create one more employee so we will check later First, maybe it's a kind of a notification issue or I will create quickly one more employee new person and you can go to the task and hire an employee and hire to fill up and legal employer vs1 legal entity and here the position person number the person number i am taking 7767 so and i am taking uh so sorry, yeah. and mail it about and here next I interface so six seven and we need to go nine so seven five three okay. so then click on next So now I'm giving address main street and the code is one zero 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 one. Okay, then click on OK. Fine. So we don't need all these things. So then click on next. So here business unit business unit i am taking yes one business unit okay and we had a problem with the job on positions and here let me go to the manager details but this is our manager Kriti Kriti Kattis ok so let me go to the payroll details payroll hours is ANL yeah, ANL payroll we got it and let me go for the salary basis here the salary basis is so our is the annual salary basis we need to check whether we have our own salary basis I think we had created uh, this one. I think we didn't create it. We didn't create our own salary basis. Okay, so let me take any one of that. So, okay, basic salary basis. 
and salary amount. Let me take two thousand. So this is because it's a bi weekly. Fine. And then so annual salary twenty four X. So then let me go for five. Then click on next. You must specify your work location of this uh, for the payroll before you can attach. Uh, okay. Work location of this. Okay. Work location. Let me go for the New York. You can give any address. Okay, so click on next, and uh, so let me take these details to query. Okay, then click on next. And save. Okay. Then you can go for the submit. Yeah. Do you want to continue? Yes. The request was submitted. Yeah, so I got it, but I don't know. So process was saved. And actually, required. Okay. So let me let me check with the person management to check the employee. So here, employee number. I need seven five. So let me check the old employee. I didn't get it. A new person member. Seven zero. So I didn't get any employee. So is it date effective? Date also same. We have taken the same thing only. If I query with the name, search it. Yeah, but it's showing it is approved. Okay, the employee is approved.
Okay. So here cut this fifty, it is approved. The task completed approved. It is done. Okay. So now what I can do is so let me check here. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see that. Okay. So press again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are saying something, um, Aman? No. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Actually, so I think the so while creation of the ANL user, maybe we have not uh, uh, submitted. So that's why I am not able to get that one. Okay. So let uh, we will try later. Okay, we will check and we will try later that one. Okay, now, so let us uh, just click on here. Click on here, then we can see, uh, we can do the employee related stuff. So whatever the task we need to um, complete related to employee, so we can do that. So these are the tasks related to employee. So you can see all the tasks. So we had uh, observed earlier. Okay, so the options related to payroll, compensation, uh, personal employment, so all these tasks. So, okay, if you want to terminate this employee, so then what you can do is, so click on manage work relationships, and we have the option terminate. You can terminate here. Okay, so once you click on terminate, then employee will be terminated. Okay. Yeah, like this, uh, we here, uh, okay. So here, it's a manage options case. So if there is any options, you can go for the options records. So I'll click on the options record. And you can, you can check the options records here. You can check the options records. So we, we can, so you can create our own options records as well. And uh, view payslip. So if you run the payroll, then you can uh, you can view the payslips. Okay. So and manage the person. So you can check the person detail. Okay. And so we didn't discuss in that. Uh, we didn't discuss the talent profile as of now. So we will we will discuss later. Okay. So these are the main things. So manage documents. So so document records, employee document records. So you can do that. So seniority dates, text list, and employment, manage employment. You can click on the manage employment and you can see the employment details. All the employment details you can see, and if you want to update, because uh, so this is of the employment details by the creation of the employee, we had given all these details. So if you want to edit, you can edit, you can edit, and you can update all the records. Okay. So if you want to change, so anything, so you can change it. If you want to change it, you can do that. And here uh, we have the option. You can change the. Uh, even you can change the uh, uh, employee location. All these things you can you can change. You can go for manage user account. You can edit the username. Username also you can edit. You can, you can do that. So here what happens is. So using the manager user account, so, so so here, 
so you can assign the roles and also so you can you can create the password and all the things you can create a here, here for this employee so so this username is m dot prasad but uh, but uh, you, you don't have the password for this one so for this what you can do is you need to go to the so um, create a uh, implementation user so then it will go to the idm okay identity management so so our client manager so then there you can you can create the password and then you can send to the employee or user so like this so these are all the different tasks for the employee employee related tasks okay so and how to check the uh, face lift so actually so we discussed earlier how to check the face lift okay yeah i have a question yeah yeah yes uh, uh, madhav so do you do you have some sort of a document which will tell us in what sequence you know these things has to be done yeah yeah okay 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 I, the sequence that right, you are saying yeah 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 i will send you that i will send you that yeah and then after yeah correct. that yeah sure sure so usually so there there are around 30 to 40 setups are there so which you need to do in a sequence manner and after that mm -hmm. so you can do so for the uh, for the employee related because here what happens is if you want to so for the employee specific these are all the employee specific tasks so these tasks yeah. okay, you can you can do so you can we can go to the uh, so one employee is created then we can go for the payrolls and we can go for the so apps options and uh, you can you can go for the compensation so as per the as per the uh, requirement of the employee but uh, so while setting up while setting up all these things we have the we have the process so i i will send you because so we are in the same process only where from starting itself we are creating in the same process so okay so i will uh, what i i will do is uh, i will consolidate all these things and i will send you okay so yeah so okay. I, i i will send you this excel sheet this this excel sheet and at the same time i will send you i will consolidate and i will send you all these details okay that's fine right yeah because um, because of this server issues sometime you are not able to show some few things here and there yeah yeah correct correct that is true yeah we need to do the sequence yeah yeah correct correct that is true correct what you are saying correct okay so so yeah if it is a sequence then uh, you can you can go through that you can go through you can um, yes yeah fine so we will do that okay i think our last class i think we need to work on this one so options administration maybe these things okay tomorrow we will discuss about all these things okay so so and also tomorrow i will come up with the, some of the tasks so not all i will i will come up with the, some of the tasks in a in a in a order so you can yeah. you can you can start practice okay right. okay and i'll do one more suggestion uh, if you can spend few minutes you know, before the session and do a little bit of uh, uh, ground work needed for this tomorrow's thing that will be Yeah, nice yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. So, so yeah, yeah. So actually, before the class, I am doing some kind of a groundwork only, and that, that's why. So I used to come up with some uh, some sort, uh, some kind of tasks to explain. But what happens is sometimes it will uh, stack up. Uh, so, so even in the regular, you know, right in the regular instance also, we used to have some kind of uh, um, issues. Uh, but uh, and at the same time this one is uh, it's a kind of a demo instance right so and, the, and that too we do uh, so uh, they are clearing the data on weekly basis so so um, uh, what happens is we need to create so you, today if we take um, this um, um, uh, salary basis and payroll definition we had created uh, that long back 10 days before so so there we don't have that information but in the real time it is not like that so whatever we had created so yeah so you you will have so any time you can see any time right so right. so that is the difference in the real time and uh, here so only directly is providing the server because outside outside uh, so we can't get from outside because 
so so and mainly varakala is not giving to uh, outsiders and the software is also so it's a huge one and uh, it requires around 700 800 gb ram itself so that's why so we need to depend on uh, oracle itself mm. so, yeah anyhow mm. that's not a problem so so getting uh, the access we are getting so maybe it, if it is delayed for one or two days so we are getting continuously so let us practice yeah. okay Thanks.